Hi, I'm Nick with Wakuda Water Sports here with some exciting news. We're so excited about introducing our new Grand Touring models. We've got a Grand Touring GT126 and a Grand Touring GT150. The 126 is 10 foot 6 inches long, 30 inches wide, and our GT150 is 12 and a half feet long and it's 32 inches wide. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes here, if you will, going through all the components in the package that you can expect when you purchase your brand new GT126 and your GT150. Let me start with first with the backpack. They all come with a backpack and this one is a little different than what we normally have been sending in our Wahoo and our Wakuda packages. This backpack is different. It's black. It's got your two shoulder straps. Also has a nice waist strap around so that you can keep it if you have a long portage over some rough terrain. It'll keep the pack snug to your back, nice and comfortable. It's got Velcro on the top and it also has shock cords in the back. Now in this piece, just like all of our Wahoo and Wakuda models, all of the GT backpacks fit the board, the pump, the two-piece adjustable paddle, as well as your patch kit. So everything's included. We're going to lay them out now on the table and go through them one by one so that you learn all you need to know to make a smart decision in purchasing a GT126 or a GT150. Okay, here's a look at what you can expect when you order a GT126 or a GT150. Everything is outside of the backpack now. Let's take them one at a time. First, here you see the backpack. The backpack has a nice mesh on the outside so to keep your components dry, dry, nice and dry if you happen to put them away a little bit wet so to keep everything nice and clean. Every piece comes with a black belt so that once you roll them up you can snug them up and keep them in that tight rolled position by just using this black belt. As you know if you've rolled up boards before and try to put them in the bag it's really sometimes can be a challenge. This will keep the board rolled up nice and tight so it fits easily into your backpack. Let's take a look at some other pieces now that come with the board. Comes with a Bravo two-piece aluminum adjustable SUP paddle. Pieces just connect together with a push pin mechanism. And as you know, with a screw collar on all of our Bravos, screw collar allows you to adjust the length on the paddle for different heights and different conditions and different preferences. So you decide, but you have that flexibility and you have the adjustability. That's a Bravo paddle. Now the pump is, I think, a big advance in what we say we want to bring to the market as far as new innovations and new technology for our inflatable paddle boards. This is a Bravo pump. It's a Bravo high pressure pump. It works in both directions. It, it pumps on the up stroke as well as on the down stroke. You can reverse it so that you can also use it to deflate your board when you finish paddling so that you can roll it up as tight as possible with no air in the board whatsoever. The connections are very simple. It's a screw connection to the pump and it has your bayonet male hose on the other side to connect to the valve on your board. The gauge is integrated into the handle so it doesn't stick out. It's in a nice safe place so you don't have to worry about dropping it and breaking the, the gauge off. The gauge is integrated, reads up to 30 PSI. The pump can go up to 27 PSI. Your boards, we recommend target PSI of 15. You can go anywhere from 10 to 15. In certain circumstances, you don't want to go beyond 15. Okay, that's the introduction, as well as here's what you can expect also the patch kit, which is included in every one of our inflatable stand up paddle boards. So that's an overview of the components. This is what you get with every package, whether it's a GT126 or a GT150. Hope this helps. Now let's take a look at the board. Yeah. All right, here we are. The most important part about your GT126 and GT150 is the board. Now this is a new design for us, which is great, and we're calling them Grand Touring, the GTs, because we're suggesting that this is a good board if you want to go out into some open water, you want to be crossing the bays, or you want to go out into sometimes a chop or a little bit of wind condition. And the reason we're suggesting that is because of the bow. What we've done with this board is we've raised the bow five degrees, so you see it's pitched up a little bit so that you can go over the waves instead of having to hit the waves and have the waves push you back. Also, we put a nice point on this board so that if it does hit a wave, it'll split the wave and bring you up over the wave so you don't lose your forward momentum. That's why we call these touring boards because you can put it on a lake, a river, a bay, or an ocean, and depending on the conditions, you're still gonna be moving forward and enjoying your paddle out on the water. So let's look at some other things on this board. You've got the raised up bow. We also have a tapered tail, which I'll show you in a minute. Up on the bow of every board is your shock cord where you can keep additional gear. 
Please keep in mind the United States Coast Guard considers paddleboards personal watercraft, so every person on a paddleboard should have a PFD or a life jacket. You can put your life jacket here. Best advice is to put your life jacket on. Use this for storing your lunch, your towels, whatever else you want to bring with you on your day out. So you've got a D-ring up on the bow to tie it up to a dock or to a boat or to your beach. You've got your shock cords on the bow for additional gear. Along the sides of the board you have an additional six D-rings so you can attach our removable seat. So you can use the board as a sit-on kayak as well as a stand-up paddleboard. Because I know a lot of customers take them on long journeys. Some people don't like to stand for the entire journey. You can use the removable seat as another way to use your paddleboard as a sit-on kayak. You've got the D-rings so you can use forward seating, rear seating, or center seating. Your choice, okay? Now, in the center of the board is your carry handle, which works great. Easy to lift the board, only weighs 22 pounds. It's nice and light. Your inflation valve is in the rear. Let me spin this over. I want to look at this and look at the fin. Your inflation valve is in the rear. It's a two-position valve, just like our narrow valves. You also have a D-ring in the back to attach a, your ankle leash or to attach a stern tie-up to your beach, your dock, your boat, or wherever it may be. Now, the bottom, which is interesting and another step forward, we feel, is that you have three fins. Two of them are fixed. Your third larger fin is removable. Now, this is an easier removable fin because it's just a screw mechanism. You loosen the screw, plus you can adjust the position of the, rod, of the fin forward or backward depending on what type of paddling you want to be doing that day. And for our friends in the Northwest who take their paddle boards out onto some low rivers with rocks and obstructions, what you can do is you can remove this paddle without having to remove this fin without having to deflate your board. So we made a couple of nice advances. Use it to your whatever your preference is. Just unscrew it. and it comes right out. And the same thing with the installation, put it in, line up your screw, and you and you're tighten it up, and your fin is secure. So you've got some options, and also you have the flexibility of using with or without the fin, as well as the moving your fin forward and backward. Keep it back if you want to do some performance, center if you want to have a more stable straight tracking ride. So that's the new advances on our board. It's great uh, material, it's a great manufacturing process, as they say, they inflate to 15 PSI conservatively. You're going to have a good time on this board, and we expect a lot of good reviews on this. So let us know your thoughts. Give us a call. If you have any questions, please, as always, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Look forward to working with you, and hope you enjoy our new introduction. Have a good day.